Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you another build um, which involves the Mantle of Bat Harmony again um, but this time we're going to be making use of Charger of Light, we're going to be making use of Elemental Well Mods and we're going to be making use of the new Trace Rifle um, mods to basically make any Trace Rifle in the game viable. Uh, for demonstration purposes I'm going to be using Wave Splitter because it's my favourite Trace Rifle in the game. Um, so I want to just use that one. Um, unfortunately, this thing does not have an ornament or a catalyst, so Bungie, if you could, you know, maybe put one of those in the game soon, that'd be great. Um, anyway, getting into the build, we will be focusing on a lot of different options. Uh, the main option being the double special route, which is completely viable because of the new mods. Um, but there's also alternate things that you can do alternate uh loadouts that you can use like having a hand cannon with the trace or a scout rifle with the trace for end game content where you need champion mods um so getting into the mods uh the main thing we want to focus on is probably the elemental well mods first so again like in my previous uh mantle about harmony builds we are going to be making use of elemental armaments and uh font of might again which is kills with weapons will spawn elemental wells as you can see here um, as long as they match your subclass element which is perfect because wave splitter in this case is void and we are using void walker um, and since super doesn't matter because you're going to be holding on to it you could use any element and you know matching whatever trace rifle it is you want to use and you can make use of elemental wells and absorption cells so Font of Might again is just a damage increase, it lasts about 5 seconds and um, yeah it will only boost the element of the elemental well that you picked up. So if you pick up a void one it will only boost void weapons. Um, so if I was using a void heavy as well I could just switch weapons and it would still benefit that heavy. But if because I have Heezen and it's solar, um, if I was to pick up the well and then switch to my Heezen it would not gain a damage buff. So yeah that's that. Um, now for the charge light side of things, we have sustained charge, which basically charges me when I get kills with trace rifles, which is awesome because trace rifles are very, very good at ad clear in this game because they kill so quickly because they are special weapons. So that is very easy, um, charges. Honestly, you could use taking charge. The problem with wave splitter though in taking charge is that the game doesn't actually let you pick up orbs after you're maxed out on a super um or if you're already like already charged for some reason the game just stops it i assume it's because of its perk but that's kind of dumb um that that happens at least in my experience that's happened i don't know if it's a bug maybe it is um but when i have my super and i'm not charged and i pick up taking charge orbs it doesn't pick them up even though it should and normally it would um so I don't know, I think that's a bug. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, in this case, I am also using, since I'm using a Void subclass, I'm using the Unstoppable Melees for Void um, because I'm not using Unstoppable Grenade Launcher, which you can slot in here, um, but just in this case, I'm not doing that, so I'm going to make use of the Melee instead. Um, of course, we have Trace Rifle mods across the board, Scavenger, Reserves, Loader, Finder, all good. Um... With Sustained Charge, we are going to make use of Argent Ordnance because that is a brilliant mod for the heavy weapon that we are using. In this case, Heezen Vengeance. Um, Heezen will be able to hold its own in endgame content. You know, you just need to blast a few things with it. Um, obviously, we're not using any Rocket Launcher mods except from Ammo Finder, which is the, the no-brainer, you know, choice. But we won't need them because Wave Splitter can hold its own, so that's great. Um, and then I have Radiant Light just for more melees because I am using Sustained Charge as also with Momentum Transfer get more melees from using my grenades. So that's the build, that's the setup. Um, it's very very strong. I will show a little demonstration of the weapon in action in this Lost Sector here. And then I'll show you it against a, a Lost Sector boss, a different one, the one that I normally show off for these builds. Um, and I'll also clear out that Lost Sector and show you just how viable this Trace Rifle can be, even with Double Special active. Um, 
Remember, as mentioned earlier, you can use overload hand cannon or anti-barrier uh, scout rifle in the primary slot or the kinetic slot, uh, so you can make use of barrier overload unstoppable and still has your, still have your trace rifle and your whatever heavy it is you're using. In this case, he's in vengeance. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get into the gameplay. Hopefully you enjoy and adios. Also, actually, really quickly before I get into the rest of the gameplay, I did want to mention that this build works wonders in PvP. Um, I would recommend probably using a primary alongside this in PvP because of how the ammo economy works. But if you just switched out one of the, or I guess in this case, the rocket launcher ammo finder or any finder um, and put in high energy fire, this whole build works phenomenally in pvp i don't know if that's a word but it works really well in pvp um trace rifles are in a really good spot right now and this build will prove that um you'll be increasing your damage with mantle of battle harmony because it works in pvp now um and you'll be increasing your damage with font of might and you'll just be shredding um especially since you have high energy fire on top of that sometimes so it's awesome go try it out um it's really good in pvp really good in pve it's a great build, makes trace rifles useful. It's this works with any trace rifle again because it's all like nothing needs to be changed. You just change your subclass and then you change your weapon and that's it. Um, none of the mods need moving. Everything can stay the same. It's super accessible. Um, it's super new user friendly because everyone gets access to trace rifles pretty much right off the bat. Um, and yeah, it's awesome. So yeah, again, hopefully you enjoy the gameplay. Hope you enjoyed the build. Let me know what you think of it. Um, this video wasn't super informatic in the build department. Um, it's a very simple build. It's very straightforward. It's pretty much just for ad clear and even boss damage if you want to use a trace rifle that way. Um, it's just to make trace rifles viable in both PvE and PvP. So, yep, hopefully you enjoy it and adios.